all right guys what is going on everybody on youtube if you clicked on today's video already know what you're trying to figure out should you pay resale now should you wait will the price dip on the air drill one university blues in this video i'm gonna give you guys my opinion on what i think will happen with these air jordan one university blues man but before we get into it if you're new please hit that subscribe button and smack that like button that really helps the channel grow and i'm telling you guys man you hit that like button other people are also trying to figure out what should they do man should they pull the trigger now should they wait a little bit with the price dip and all that good stuff in today's video i'm gonna give you guys my experience for past air Jordan one releases like these and just my honest opinion over these air Jordan one university blues so all out the way let's jump right into today's video over these university blue air Jordan ones man let's get it all right so i recently picked these up from the sneaker travelers this past weekend and i must say these things are beautiful i did do a early review over the gs pair uh but just seeing this men pair in hand i'm telling you guys the quality on these joints is crazy um it, it really reminds me of the mocha release man quality was top notch and the hype was right there with it man the hype for the mocha ones was super super through the roof and the hype for these, you know what I'm saying, did not die down. We thought it would. Uh, we seen them going for like five, six hundred dollars, you know, prior to the release for a men's pair. And it kind of dipped down to that 400 mark. And now we steadily see it growing up to like 430, 440. And $450 in some size, you can check on StockX right now and put a screenshot up here of some of the current prices on StockX and go so you can kind of see uh, where you want to gauge the market and when you should pull that trigger. So you guys all remember, man, the Air Jordan 1 Mocha release. People was going crazy for them joints. And this was around the time when shipping delays was like the known like everybody knew that the shipping delays was normal it was going to happen a lot of foot lockers and champ sports you know everything under the flex app was not going to get their pairs so i kind of raised that resale value up a little bit because everybody knew within that two to three weeks and sometimes even a month in some locations they didn't get the mochas and our price stayed up there in that 500 dollars price range and even when they got you know what i'm saying all the pairs out all the mochas released they were still going for 450 475 in most sizes man and right now you can get a pair for around 480 490 the mocha one release was crazy and our reset value kind of you know speaks for itself but for these joints right here you guys already know the hype was crazy they put a university blue uh colorway on a pair of jordan ones and i already knew people were going to you know go crazy for them uh, a lot of people saying that they even like these more than the original unc ones and i see why people will say that uh, but me personally, man, I got to stick with the OG. But these right here, I'm not going to knock it. It's definitely a fire, fire pair of sneakers. Me, myself, honestly, man, I'm super tempted to even throw these on feed because I already know uh, the resale on these joints is going to go. I already know it's going to go up. So I think it's best for me to probably pick up another pair. And that goes right into what I think you guys should do as far as pulling the trigger on these or waiting. I honestly do not see these things dropping in price. I know a couple people said it will drop. Some people said wait for the little Timmy's to sell their pair. Shout out to Jumpman Chris. But me personally, man, I don't know. I def I don't see them going down. The hype is crazy on these. And even when I was at the sneaker event, people were telling me they're not selling them. They see a lot of potential in them. They definitely think it's going to go, you know, past that $500 price range and surpass the mochas within the next couple of months. And that's kind of where I was hitting at at the video that me and KPK did. We was like, yo, he said don't buy them now. He said that they would drop. But me, I was like, oh, I was going to say something totally different just because I remembered the mocha release. And like I said, this is a University Blue colorway. People are going to go crazy for that original color on a pair of Air Jordan ones. Something that I could possibly see happen in the near future is in April when we get those powder blue or uh, University powder blue Air Jordan ones that look similar to the Air Jordan one Turbo Greens, but it has a University Blue colorway. I forget the name. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But I can see when those release possibly. You know what I'm saying? The resale be a little bit higher on those. The hype, the demand for those might supersede these right here. And people just kind of forget about these. People are not even selling them. So that kind of drives the resale market down a little bit. But that's just a stretch. That's a huge, huge stretch. I personally believe this is the best Air Jordan 1 of 2021. You guys can let me know how you feel about that. I don't see, you know what I'm saying, trophy rooms. I don't think they're better than these. I don't think the ones in April that released are not better than these, uh, but they are fire. Don't get me wrong. Trophy rooms and those that we get in April are definitely a dope pair of Air Jordan ones. But these right here, man, that University Blue colorway, you know what I'm saying, the nice suede new buck on the entire upper of these joints. And the leather quality is pretty good. Like, it's really top notch. Nice tumble leather on the toe box and on the side panels. When I did the early review for the GS pair, the quality was crazy. So I was like, bro, I can just imagine. I can just imagine what they're gonna have for the men's pair of University Blue Air Jordan 1. So I paid $450 for these Air Jordan 1s right here. 
Uh, I was like, yo, should I wait? Should I get him on StockX? Should I get him on GOAT? And you know what I'm saying? I had to pay all those crazy shipping fees, taxes, seller, you know, all the crazy fees that those, you know what I'm saying, two apps charge you. Or should I just drop the 450 now, straight out the gate, then I pay no shipping, took him right with me on the flight. You know what I'm saying? So 450 flat, you know what I'm saying? Nothing else than that. You guys let me know what you think. Did I pull a trigger too fast or should I have waited? Me personally, man, I want you guys to remember this video if you're watching this. I don't think these are going to drop below $400 at all. A lot of people are saying that they will. I do not see it happening for a sneaker like this, man. The hype and the demand for these is crazy. Even around the shows, you get to see people all asking for University Blue Ones. And most of the people was asking for $500 and up. I was like, yo, you can go watch that last video. I will link it down below. When I was a sneaker traveler, this dude wanted $550. Some dude wanted $600. He was like, yo, I don't want to sell them. I think that this has a lot of potential. I'm like, yo, I feel you, bro. I feel you, uh, but I don't know why you got them out in the show right now. None of these are going for $600 as of today. But I cannot be mad at whoever is selling them, who's holding them, uh, because I definitely see a lot of potential on the resale market as far as these beautiful, beautiful University Blue Air Jordan 1s right here. Just a crazy, crazy sneaker. I cannot emphasize that enough. And the demand and the hype speaks for itself over these sneakers right here. So do you guys think I'm totally wrong as far as them not going down and do you guys think i'm wrong about pulling the trigger now rather than waiting i even titled my video yesterday uh when i did pick these up like get these now before i do hit 600 i see it going past 500 within the next couple of months uh, especially summertime this is a summer colorway you know what i'm saying very vibrant throw those white laces in there even these university blue laces and it's gonna go crazy and everybody's gonna be like yo them things is fire we're just gonna keep the hype building on these beautiful air Jordan ones right here so i need you guys down below to answer those two questions did I pull the trigger too fast? And do you guys think these will dip in resale value? Please comment it down below because a lot of people have a couple of different you know, opinions over this, but this is my opinion. They won't drop. This is the best time to buy them right now. Yo guys, I appreciate everybody for pulling up to today's video. A little, you know, some prediction over what you should do over these University Blue Ones. Uh, this is my opinion. This is not facts. It's just what I think is gonna happen in the very near future. The resale value is gonna shoot up like crazy. Just watch. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. We try to hit that 50,000 subscribers. And with you guys' help, I know we can get there, man. And also, smack that like button. That like button goes a long way. So right now, please smack the like button. It shows YouTube you guys are enjoying the content. So slap it right now. And also comment down below some of your thoughts and opinions over these University Blue Ones. Are they too hyped? Do you think it's right where it needs to be? Is the demand too crazy for these? Let us know something down below. This is an open discussion video. And it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys comment down below. I appreciate everybody for pulling up to today's video. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.